So we've had the best of British, the power from Germany, and the agility from France. Where next, but to the home of some of the most beautiful cars in the world, Italy. Well, I am very lucky, you know. I have a really fantastic team and cars. You know, in uh, all Lancia, like in Stratos, S4, Cero 37, after in uh, Lancia Delta also. Lancia is, you know, in rallying, is like in Ferrari in Formula One, you know, and people like very much in Italian team. Lancia had many candidates for the greatest rally car. Before Group B, e, they had already been hugely successful with the Stratos. Emerging as a prototype ugly duckling, the wedge-shaped car powered by a Ferrari engine became a swan, winning three manufacturer's titles for the team in the mid-70s. The stars of the Group E era saw the Lancia 037, a flyweight racer that looked like it could take off at any moment. It excelled on tarmac and was tamed by Walter Roll and Marku Allen, but it was two-wheel drive. Lancia had to come up with something better. What they created was the Delta S4, probably the scariest car ever built. It had a mid-engine, four-wheel drive, a supercharger and a turbocharger. Unofficial figures claimed the S4 could accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour on gravel. Just 2.5 seconds. Well, S4 was a particular car, you know, uh, was a car not easy to drive. Uh, I have in my eyes still the image of the driver coming out of the car after some special stages. Uh, I don't want to say terrorized, but not really relaxed, you know. The premature ending to Group B meant the S4 never really showed its full potential, winning just four events, including a 1-2 in its first ever outing, the RAC in 1985. But the S4 wasn't an easy car to tame, and few drivers enjoyed its ride. Because the car uh, with this power is a car uh, difficult to drive, uh, and uh, that's why not all the drivers Immediately, they entered in feeling with the car. They only, only, uh, only Harry was able to do this. He came out of the car after stages with his normal uh, face that uh, would be with another car. You know, when the other drivers, uh, I saw in their eyes something that was not really totally uh, relaxing. For its sheer jaw-dropping, bone-shaking beastliness, the Lancia Delta S4 stands apart. After the end of Group B, Lancia went on to produce the Delta Integrale, undoubtedly a more successful car. Well, Lancia, we have to, to remember that, you know, we had the great uh, hero with the Lancia Delta, with the different model for we drive, the Integrale, and so on, so on. So to win a six consecutive title in the history of the rally is something that should still to be repeated and I think it will take a long time before to be repeated. But it wasn't just the cars that made Lancia so special, it was their team spirit. Well, it, it was a, a fantastic year, it was a fantastic team. Uh, it was a combination of many elements, you know, uh, the driver, the team, the management, the mechanics, uh, the engineering, uh, uh, all together, we, we, have, we were like a family, you know, and th this, I think, was our power, you know, uh, and uh, this has created a big team that I think we stay in the memory of the rally for a long, long time.